two. We are back again with another banger. Banger. Bo -bo 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 banger. I can't talk that. No, because it's a banger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we about to get into this top ten movies coming out in mm. 2020 and 2021. Since pretty much 2019 is over. Mm -hmm. Shoot, we almost in we we in October, you know Halloween's almost upon us. Yeah. And we might as well do something like this. Pretty much. It's what the people want. So it's about ten minutes long. So we'll we'll go ahead and start this so the video is not too long. But let's get into it. Lego. 2019 has been a year of some great movies, and we can't wait to tell you what to look forward to in the coming few years. Here are the top 10 movies releasing in 2020 and 2021. Keep an eye out for them. Some of these have major cast additions, and some of these franchises are being taken forward after the early 2000s. While a lot of their prequels disappointed fans worldwide, great things are being expected out of the upcoming big budget projects. Time will tell how they perform at the box office. Fast and the Furious remains one of the most popular action movies of all time. While all installments in the franchise haven't had positive reviews, it nevertheless... The How'd you feel about the last one? I feel like the last one was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Was the last one on Paul Walker? Or was that the no, previous one before no. that, right? Yeah, the previous one before that was okay. Paul Walker. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Did you like it? Yeah, it was pretty good. It was actually pretty good. Yeah. I I didn't mind it at all. It was a good movie. All right, let's continue. There's on fast-paced action, seemingly impossible stunts, and brilliant camera work. The all-star cast is expected to make yet another comeback in 2020, as Fast and the Furious 9 goes through its pre-production phase currently. Audiences worldwide feel that, like some other movies, repeatedly flushing out sequels in a franchise seems like overkill, and that the team should have ended it on a certain basis. So while one can expect some intense uppercuts and car chases, one cannot deny the fact that the storyline becomes more and more vague with time, since sequels are being repeatedly pushed out with no definite ending. A surprising fact is that John Cena is rumored to be joining the All-Star cast, which is certainly an appealing factor for fans. Another surprising revelation was made by Tyrese Gibson, who released an image featuring Matt Damon. So fans are expecting some major surprises in May 2020. I'm hmm. lit for hours. The highest grossing yeah, movie of all time, 2.8 billion worldwide. That's freaking crazy. Like... It was on top for a while, like Avatar. It was that good. I don't know if people understand how good Avatar did, excuse me, for a movie. Very, very good movie. I really thoroughly enjoyed Avatar. It yeah. was probably actually one of the best movies I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, definitely. If definitely. not, hands down, the best movie I've ever seen. Graphics wise, it was like years in front of any other movie. Mm -hmm. And it's it's been taking them a very long time to do this one, but it took them a long time to do the last one also. But it's just crazy to me how, how they did it. Yeah, I mean, I understand why it took so many years in between to do each one because you have to make it look just that good because it wouldn't be on the top for a while, banking in over a billion dollars. You know, if it's just something that was coming out just cheap and quick. Exactly, exactly. 
Eight billion worldwide and a free Oscar winner. Avatar is getting a sequel. Master director James Cameron has openly stated that he wishes to shoot the movie in a higher frame rate, that is in 48 or 60 FPS. This means that the film quality would be so high a lot of theaters worldwide would require a downgraded version of the movie for it to be playable on the less advanced systems. Conversely, this movie alone could be a pioneer in the attempts to get HFR, high frame rate, into cinemas worldwide. Considering the success of its predecessor, very high things are expected. Hey, this is probably one of my favorite parts in Avatar when they're flying. Yeah, That's dope. That was dope. Like, just the way the animals look and everything is dope. This movie. <laughs> Fans, however, doubt if Vin Diesel would be best suited for the movie, as he's rumored to be a part of the cast. Initially, James Cameron had announced a sequel way back in 2014, but his plans were delayed because of the immense workload required to produce such a high-quality movie. His ideas demanded technologies that didn't exist at the time, reportedly to shoot performance capture scenes underwater, and a lot of manual labor on the VFX team's part. This highly complex idea was difficult to implement, thus giving us hopes of a sequel years after the first installment. Cameron has stated that the story will involve the same leading characters, and humans returning as the antagonists in December 2021. Mm. Mm, the, the DC Extended yeah. Universe, or DCEU for short, has been long struggling to overshadow the Marvel Cinematic Universe's high-grossing and long-established franchises. Many a time, much-anticipated movies like Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice really have disappointed Cyborg. eager fans. No, I don't, I don't know. I feel like Cyborg was, I mean, he might to be the weakest of the whole bunch. Yeah. Even though Batman's the one with no superpowers. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and directors continue to struggle in delivering the right stories in the right ways. The upcoming installment in the DCEU is to be of The Flash, which has long deserved an origin story-based movie. After the success of the series, fans now look out to a full-fledged, big-budget movie starring Ezra Miller, who will be a part of a seemingly cliché storyline, wherein the superhero travels into a timeline full of turmoil and all heroes being lost and scattered. The final responsibility will fall onto Barry Allen to make things right. The unimpressive storyline and the rumors of Ezra Miller being replaced as The Flash put DCEU's plans in jeopardy yet again. Fans are uncertain if this movie will ever see the light of day, and whether or not the storyline will surprise the critics. Needless to say, in the era of the Marvel Universe with Avengers Endgame recently breaking the high billion mark set by Avatar of the US, it will certainly be a challenge to shake up the status quo and further solidify DC movies' foundations. Ooh, that's gonna be the most recent one. installment really into the franchise, it. Godzilla the King of Monsters, received mixed reviews. While fans admired the action-packed special effects, they weren't too fond of the storyline on the whole. Because of this, the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong movie is less hyped, as the expectations have begun to drop. Some have blamed the cast, and some have blamed the scripts. But the fact remains that all of the Godzilla movies contain some brilliant special effects which have carried the movie through rough critic reviews. Fights between Kong and Godzilla are now the talk of the town, but it's hoped that the movie possesses an artful story. Godzilla has been a traditional, timeless classic in Hollywood, and one can only hope that despite more advanced graphics and effects, the immersiveness of the original story does not take a back seat in further sequels. The movie is reportedly releasing in March 2020. I can't wait for that movie. Mm -hmm. The world's favorite minions, Bob Stewart and Kevin, are all set to... Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think they're gonna have to do something with it. Yeah, I think just athletically more, just faster. Yeah. Um, but if if Godzilla gets one hit of his, it will. If Godzilla hits Kong with one of his little blasts, the laser. Yeah. I think Kong is gone. Oh yeah, he gonna turn the ashes right there and there. That ain't no question. It it just depends on the scenario, to be honest. Really? Yeah, I did. I think Godzilla's biggest arsenal is just his high breath beam or mm -hmm. whatever that is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, and then so the next one is the Minions 2015. Well, Despicable Me, I think. Yeah. Earn with a bang in the latest installment of the Despicable Me spinoff. The first installment grossed over one billion dollars in revenue worldwide, and the upcoming sequel is expected to surpass the previous numbers, considering how much popularity the Minions have gained over the years. With extensive merchandise available oh, yeah. and strategic marketing, Minions have not only become a global sensation, but also a global brand. Decorated by several accolades from the British Academy Film Awards and People's Choice Awards, the first Minions movie proved to be a major hit, and fans now eagerly wait to see what notorious plans Gru has in mind in Minions The Rise of Gru. 
It's rumored that the story quite literally adheres to the title. The movie will showcase a young Gru and explain his rise as the evil genius we now know. It's set to release in July 2020. Mm. I'll be safe. <laughs> After an immense Guardians public backlash over past yeah. offensive tweets, James Gunn was let go as the director of the beloved Guardians of the Galaxy franchise, leaving its continuation uncertain. Fast forward a couple of months full of public support and lobbying, Gunn was reinstated as the director, to the delight of Marvel fans worldwide. The plot of Volume 3 is yet unknown, but it is interesting to consider all the fan theories that exist. It is also uncertain whether or not the events will take place after the Infinity War Endgame saga or during it. There are, however, definite rumors that Adam Warlock would be making a debut in this installment, with the cast still unknown. Hmm. Warlock was a major possibility predicted by Endgame fan theorists, but this scenario has been revived yet again for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. There is no further information available regarding the movie, but it is to release in 2021. Mm. Another Scooby Doo movie? Currently filming is a movie what? based on the popular cartoon from all of our childhoods, wow. Scooby Doo. Titled Scoob, this movie is set to cast top Hollywood actors like Amanda Seyfried, Mark Wahlberg, Zac Efron, and Ken Jeong. Fans are hoping this Scooby Doo movie will be unlike the first one, made in 2002 mm -hmm. with a minimal rating of 5 on IMDb and 30% on Rotten Tomatoes. The sequel was released in 2004, but that too failed to impress audiences worldwide. It had a worse rating of 22% on the tomato meter and a similar IMDb rating. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, Similar reviews were received for both these installments, saying that the jokes weren't all that hilarious, the stunts were unimpressive, and the cast and crew did not learn any lessons from the first failure. Here's hoping that the upcoming movie Scoob will restore everyone's it, faith in Hollywood's. It was cheesy. They both were. Yeah, it was pretty corny. Like it was kind of almost like they were mocking the, show. the actual Scooby Doo show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like the cast was not, like, impressive at all. Mm-mm. Not at all. Their acting was horrible. <laughs> it's kind of like that Dragon Ball Z movie they made. They, remember, they made a live-action Dragon Ball Z movie, mm -hmm. and it was awful. And it was like, why did you put that out? Sometimes they just be forcing stuff out that don't even need to be out. Like, they be playing, but, um, yeah, hopefully this movie's good. I mean, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, it's a it's a throwback to childhood yeah. memories, but, shoot, I have no hopes. My hopes are down here, so. We'll see. We'll <laughs> yeah, see. We'll see. Handling our beloved cartoon, the quality of production, despite an all-star cast, could be debatable, since Scoob will be director Tony Servone's first theatrical release. An inexperienced director could mean an unimpressive movie. Time will tell. Marvel is continuously added with several movies coming out in the upcoming years, despite the recent end to their Phase 3 saga. It's no breaks, no breaks for Marvel at the moment. Production for Morbius is set to finish as early as June 2019, and a release date is set as July 31st, 2020. After the recent Disney merger, it's expected that this MCU installment will feature a variety of characters and plots from different universes, coming under the one umbrella of Walt Disney Studios. Jared Leto will play the living vampire Morbius, and the movie is rumored to be set in...